Welcome back to On the Couch, and today I'm really happy to have a friend of mine, born and raised here in the South Bay, Chris Bredesen. How's it going, Chris? Very well. Thank you very much. Thanks right. for having me. Well, thanks for joining us on the yeah. couch. Yeah. Good to see you again. Yeah. Chris actually has a, a new restaurant. We'll give him a quick plug. A new restaurant, new Rockefeller opening yep. up in yep. Redondo. Yeah, in the village. And how's that going? Woo! It's been a long, long, arduous process, but uh, nine to ten months later, we're a few weeks away. How's this one compare with the other ones? I think this one, uh, the build out is the best we've ever done nice. for any of the restaurants. So I'm very excited about that. So we're gonna start off the questions now with Chris. We're gonna start off with a really fun one. Uh, what is the third photo in your phone and can we see it? Okay, so I get, I'm gonna look. You're gonna look, yes. <laughs> hope I, hope I deleted the other ones that were on there. <laughs> oh my God, there, there's, it's as Hopefully bad as- get him in trouble. It, 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 I Let mean, me it's, see it's not terrible, but it's not, I wouldn't say it's fantastic. All right, well, it looks like they were having a couple of- uh, a little um, martini, maybe, maybe, maybe a yeah. beer or two. Yeah, there What's was a going few on beers. in that photo. So this was uh, my buddy Carter Skeeth, who just had a baby. Congratulations! And uh, we were in Santa Barbara and uh, decided to wear button up our shirts and sip on our martinis and stuff. So anyway, I like it. Yeah. Good way to start. On a different note, who is the most fascinating person you've ever met? Ooh, I want to get you know s sentimental on it, but. I think one of the most fascinating people I've ever met is somebody you actually have pictures of around here. So Hap Jacobs. Oh yeah. I think Hap is Hap an absolute is... legend. And uh, um, you know, I've been a team rider for him for a long, long time. He's made me long boards my entire life. And uh, he's just a legend. He's just one of the nicest guys in the whole world and one of the pioneers of surfing. And um, I can't say enough good stuff about him. So. And right here in the South Bay, hey, still, yeah. still shaping to this day. Yes, he is. Yeah. Uh, well, on that, I'm, I'm kind of going to go with that. I don't know. I know a lot of people may know you as a, a restaurateur, but they don't know that you surf. But yet, you've surfed competitions. Your brother is a is a big name in the in the uh, big wave riding. Yeah, Scotty's world. going left. Scotty, Scotty's following going him. Left. At Scotty's going left. <laughs> <laughs> and your dad, pops. Yeah, yeah, my dad. Yeah, my dad's on the uh, uh, Hermosa Walk of Fame. Right. Yeah. So I've definitely, you know, been on some dates maybe and walked the girls out on the pier and they look down and we have the same name, Chris Bredesen. Like Bredesen. Wait a minute. I, I recognize that. Until it says in 1962. Yeah. <laughs> There's a scrape mark of yeah, your dad's yeah, name. Just, I, hold, I, I blot that part out so they don't know. But uh, yeah, you know, been been surfing my whole life and and uh, that's why Hap was such a big influence on me. And, right. And, uh, and you used to ride for him, right? Yeah, I rode for him and, and dive and surf with the Maestrals. You know, Ronnie Maestral is one of uh, my dad's best friends. And, nice. Uh, wait, wait, so you started off, were you always longboarding? Or did always you, longboarding. Long, yeah, always longboarding, yeah. yeah. So my dad, I think I obviously got it from my dad. You know, he's mm -hmm. still surfing now at 72 right. and always been a great longboarder. Uh, did the national stuff a lot and uh, was going head to head with Taylor Jensen, who, mm -hmm. who's uh, one of the, he is the best longboarder, I think, sure. you know, around. Him and uh, Tommy Witt. Oh yeah, uh, Tommy yeah. Witt Tommy's just, Tommy's uh, charging. My brother can't say enough good stuff about Tommy Witt and me yeah. as well too. You're you're getting married. Do you have a date yet? Yes, yeah, so I'm engaged. I don't have a date yet. I need to work on that. Right. To be honest, Rockefeller Redondo has just destroyed me. So right. I'm, I'm maybe you'll get married in, in Rockefeller. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, yeah, yeah, big step. I'm in like phase three of my life. I feel like. I like that. How many yeah. phases are there? On I that? haven't figured it out yet. And there's like the, the early one, where you're a right. kid. Then there's yeah. kind of the blurry one, which is like the twenties. <laughs> And then now, now the next one, this is where we're at, right? It's like, I like the blurry one. Yeah, the blurry one, kind of like the real world. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that all figured out. I but. love phase three. Phase three, or is that what we're calling it? I think we're calling it phase, phase three. three. Yeah. I like that phase. That phase, because phase two, like, like you're saying, is that yeah. blurry time in life where yeah. you're like drinking and trying to get your life together yeah. and, you, and you're just figuring everything out. Phase three, you finally make are making money, mm -hmm. so you can go and you can take the trips and you can do things with your friends. Absolutely. And, and phase three is really good. In phase four, you're you're worried about midlife. Where yeah. I'm at right now, <laughs> midlife crisis. <laughs> you got the kids. <laughs> yeah, and you're yeah, to figure, yeah, yeah. How do I stay alive? Is yeah. my whole theory yeah. of life right now. <laughs> but I'm enjoying it. You know, for some of my friends, you know, that you're obviously married and starting to have kids and stuff like that. It's it's exciting. It's like ready for that next step. And, right, right, you know, right. So it's a it's a good thing. Pet peeves. Ooh, just, I think I have two pet peeves actually. So one of them is when, is when somebody gives you their opinion, maybe that you don't know and you weren't asking for it. And it's like, mm, you're just not really involved here. So let's go ahead and <laughs> shove you off to the side if you would. That'd be number one. Uh, I think the second pet peeve is uh, I'm kind of a, of a neat freak a little bit. 
Yeah. So like when people are dirty and stuff. And yeah. I don't mean like dirty, I mean as in like, you know, like my fiance has moved in with me now. And are you call, saying your fiance is dirty? I'm say, I'm not saying she's dirty at all. I'm not saying she's dirty, but you know, when you move in with somebody moves in and then they like put, you know, like this plant goes here. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know if that plant goes there and like go over there. <laughs> So we need to set up one of these yeah. GoPros in yeah. your house. Oh, it's and just watch moving. things move back yeah, and forth and go back, back and, and forth. forth and everything. And so. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that's that's probably my two pet peeves. What is a go-to alcoholic drink? A drink that that is your go-to? Modelo's. Modelo's, yeah. It is the year of Modelo. It is. I think everybody may agree with that. Okay. I think so. I think yeah. I think there's Modelo everywhere. Now. I think there's Modelo everywhere. They got something. And right. uh, do you uh, think it's advertising or taste? Um, I think. What I think it is, is I think it's one of the better tasting of the Mexican beers, which I love, right? right? So it's, it's, I give it, it may not be, but I'm gonna give it a little crafty feeling of right. a better tasting. Okay. So instead of a Bud Light, right. I'm going Modelo. Right? I agree. I wanna thank Brady Clark at Tower 12, a lot of Modelos, <laughs> appreciate that. Always has those things flowing, so thank you, Brady. I've, I've always been, a, had this addiction to Netflix in the last couple of years. Um, from Breaking Bad. Breaking mm -hmm. Bad actually started me and I was like, I love this, no commercials. Yep. What is your go-to, do you have anything right now that you're must Yeah, do? this is, people are just gonna roll their eyes probably, but Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I that, that roll their eyes, everybody loves it. Yeah, I just started I that. haven't started, I'm so excited. Oh, it's, it's pretty fantastic. Uh, don't watch it with your parents <laughs> because they're just like, there's just a lot going on there. My wife was telling me that yeah. because she loves it and I haven't yeah. seen it. And she's or like, well, your kids. It's, it's, yeah. Don't watch it with your kids either unless you want to have the birds and the bees conversation like immediately. Right there okay. while you're watching yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, don't do that. Uh, but it's pretty fantastic. And, and it, you know a show's good when it's addicting, when you're like, ooh, let's just watch one more episode. Uh, morning person or night owl? Oh, I have to go night. Even though I'm not as much of a night owl as I used to be. Right. But Because you're going from stage three in life. Totally. To, I'm to going from stage, stage three almost to stage four. <laughs> stage so four, you become, a, you become more of a morning person. But yeah, I mean, yeah, it just takes me like an hour to get going. The engine doesn't start as quickly as it used to, you know. You know when you wake up and you like kind of have to lay there. You just kind of you just lay there. You grab your phone. Like, yeah, you're looking yeah, around. I got to play like... Words of Friends and beat a couple people. <laughs> you know, it's kind of my thing. So now, you mentioned uh, Words with Friends. Yeah. What is your go-to app? I hate to admit, but probably Instagram. I'm opening up, you know, a couple times per day. I'm using it for business though a lot, mm -hmm. right? So right. doing yeah, some posts and all that regard. Um, Words of Friends too. Kind of a big fan. I don't have that if anybody one wants to play me, I'm legitimately. <laughs> do you have, good a, at you it. have like a handle? What, what, how do they find you on Words? Uh, Christopher Dot All right, there yeah. you go. I won't you accept everybody, but I'm telling you right now, I'm like, I'm putting up like 500 a game. <laughs> which is a lot. I don't know anything about it. It's a know. lot. Just trust me on that one, okay? So, how about uh, vacation? I know you've done a lot of traveling. What is your favorite vacation? Well, so we have a place down in Cabo, so we'd always go down to Cabo. Mm. One of my favorite places, right? It's easy to get to. Um, we got the mafia's the, not there. Yeah, yeah. the mafia's or not the, there. Whatever they well, call they them. Actually, that's another story we can talk about <laughs> it later. But, you know, fly down there. We've got the car down there, so it's, it's really simple. Then we have some semi-secret breaks that we mm -hmm. can go surf, where right. I've surfed it by myself multiple, multiple times. And, um, but my new kind of favorite spot now is because it's stage three in life. Now this is all coming together, right? Uh, Punta Mita. It's it's magical. Yeah. It's one of the most magical places. It's it's uh, it's just really nice. Surfs are really fun. It's really good for longboarding. Right. Um, just I love pretty much everything about it. Hangover advice. You own oh, bars. God. You know what happens. I'm okay to admit, right? Because I'm not like running for office or anything. Right. But, but when if if things happen too much, right? Yeah. There's too many of these going down. Right. Like I get really bad hangovers. Oh, my yeah. friends will be laughing right now. It gets worse in the stage four. It's oh, I can't life. imagine stage four. <laughs> stage four is like it back in the fetal position. Fetal. So, yeah. So it doesn't happen much anymore. But uh, so my remedy. So uh, I, I actually have. I think it's normal. But maybe I'll say it. Yeah. I have these kind of hangover pills, which are just vitamins, right? Right. They, that I, I seem to always take if I have you know three or four or five beers or something. I'll take one or two before I go to bed, and then uh, the key is, and it's not that exciting of an answer, but you just got to drink water. Yeah. What's the craziest thing you've ever done that you could say in front of the camera? So, when we were very much younger, between stage one and stage two, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we went down to Mexico with uh, with my uh, one of my my friend's parents took us down there. It was right. me and like three other guys, right? They had their own room and we had our room. We went to Papa's and beer. Okay. We went there, definitely had 
too many tequila shots, no doubt about it. We were probably <laughs> like, I don't know, 19 years old or something. Yeah, yeah. That's right. And after, uh, you know, whatever number of the tequila shots, uh, I thought that I was now like some famous rock star or something or whatever I thought was happening. So we got back to, sorry, mom and dad, we got back to the hotel room and at that point uh, completely trashed the two story, pretty nice. Because <laughs> you're a rock star at this the point. Dresser wood dresser picked up and thrown over the balcony, which we had a balcony inside, shattered everywhere. The federales pretty much come to the hotel. That's never good when the federales yeah. are looking for And you. they're like, here's the deal. You guys are either leaving Mexico right now at right. 2.30, 3 in the morning. Drunk. Or you guys are going to jail. And there's just no other way around it, right? And so the most awkward moment of my life was having to go to the parents' room and wake them up. <laughs> one, of them, one of them, by the way, one of them, a principal, at one of the local schools here, right? So he was definitely, okay, and had to give him a car. You guys wanna like, go home? <laughs> oh, had to give him a car at three in the morning and the most awkward car ride. It's I've not even your had. parents, it's no, somebody, it's even somebody worse, else. at least if it's yours. First you night know. we were there, drove all the way down. Uh, yeah, it was. How long, how many nights were you there for all, we're we supposed were supposed to be, to be there for three or four nights. Yeah, yeah. So was it quiet, We were in quiet ride home? Uh, it was the most awkward car ride in my life. <laughs> Dead quiet, just like, oh God, pull up and anyway, I think they're over right now. So when they dropped you off at home, you're like, hey, thanks for the ride. And I was like, <laughs> see ya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How about a favorite all-time movie? You can only pick one. World War Z. World I love War it. World War Z, all right. Brad Pitt. Yeah. It's yeah. not because of Brad Pitt. I haven't Pitt, seen I it. It's really good and I'm kind of, I have this weird thing about. Uh, Brad Pitt? Not about Brad Pitt, yeah, exactly. That's what it's not about. I have this weird thing about like, kind of like crazy stuff going on in the world and being able to like protect your family and he right, gets right. to move around. I just really like it. And I know that World War Z 2 is coming out oh. in a year or two. So I'm definitely going right. Best present you've ever received? It was probably my first surfboard. Right. Yeah, so I got it. Do you remember it? You remember everything about it? Uh, yeah, my, my dad got it. It was like a seven foot six egg from Becker. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And, that's um, a fun board. My birthday's on Christmas. Oh, so, yeah, right. so is that good or bad? So it used to be really good. Right. So I'd get like a surfboard or like, you know. Something like big, yeah. A car or like something big, right? right, right like right. a basketball hoop or whatever, right? Yeah. And then now it's like, here's like a card or like a t-shirt <laughs> or like, you know, and it's like, happy birthday, Merry Christmas. Right, thing, all right? one. Yeah. yeah, it's all in one. But um, yeah, probably probably that first surfboard because that was, you know, it was from my, well, it was from Santa, but right. um, it was from my dad and, you know, and, and, uh, and he... It just was a big thing for him. If, if you ever go to my parents' house, um, due to Scotty's going left, we have a called the Boneyard. Right. So all the boards he's broken, <laughs> which some of them are mine. Right. Right. That he's broken. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So I want to be clear about that. I'm, I'm you hear that, Scott? Right. And see, this interview goes in a full circle because I told you I'm a little bit OCD, right, about right. keeping stuff nice. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And Scott would use my surfboards, right? Yeah. And I keep mine, like, kind of pretty nice, right? Yeah. And then he would break them. And then it would be like World War Z, <laughs> okay? And it would just be like, what are you doing, right? And actually, right. side note, one time I came down to Hermosa Pier and the lifeguards were out on the balcony there at the new station, right? At the main headquarters. Mm -hmm. And they and I was in my clothes, right? And they're like, why is he walking on the beach in his clothes? He's always going to go surfing and stuff. And they could just see the fire in my eyes. And I could, I heard, Scott. one of the captains was like, he yelled down. He's like, calm down, calm down. And I'm like, God, because he was surfing on my board, yeah. right? At the south side of Hermosa Pier. Right. And then he lost it and the board came in and I'm standing and right you there. Were there. Oh, and okay. he just was head down, like just knew he got, he was like a puppy dog. Yeah, yeah, talk, yeah, you know? yeah. So you're older than Scott, correct? I am older, yeah. Okay, so you're the wise. Yeah. People mix that up all the time. Really? Yeah, yeah. Huh. yeah he's been in the sun a lot, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what were you like as a kid? Oh. I want to tell you how cool I was, right? <laughs> that I was just kind of the man in high school, you know? I was the uh, quarterback. No, I was, uh, I was kind of a, um, you know, I was, I was good at surfing. I enjoyed surfing, very right. beach oriented. Um, played water polo and swim right. team and stuff. Right. Um, and uh, so a lot of beach stuff, but I also was, I was very into school. Yeah. Getting good grades. We went to USC. Yeah, yeah I wanted yeah. to go to USC really bad. Yeah. Um, I do have one legendary speech that I said um, where I walked up there in front of the whole class and, and uh, I was, actually, I can't even say it because of, the, because of nowadays. I just said oh. I'd be willing to, you know, hang out with 
all the girls, right? Yeah, yeah, they yeah. vote for me type thing and just <laughs> unplugged, like fully unplugged. And like, like they made a rule at that point is they're like, you have to follow your exact speech like from now on. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Or else they're going to pl- unplug like every time. So where would you, if somebody, uh, somebody's like, I'm new to the South Bay, yeah. Saturday night. Yeah. I want to have a blast. It's where, it's where we're ending up. It's the last yeah, spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to Shellback. Shellback. I'm going to Shellback. Yeah. That's where I'm going. That's you hear that, out. Bob? Yeah. You're getting a plug. <laughs> I love Bob. Yeah, he's we see great. each other in Cabo every once in a while. Yeah, no, I, I love it. You know, Rico's there, and and uh, I don't think he's mad at me anymore, which is fantastic. And uh... <laughs> is there a story behind why Rico is mad at you? Yeah, it's just due to Scotty's going left. So my brother. Yeah. Right. Just kind of, you know, my brother messing with Rico a little bit too much. He kind of got mad, you know, and and uh, he's back though. It's fine. It's all it's all in the family. So you get attached with your brother. Oh, all the time. It's like, my God. Yeah. Well, Chris, thank you for joining yeah, us on you. the couch. Of course. And yeah, uh, good luck with the new me. Rockefeller. Yeah, appreciate it. Yep. Give and, it another uh, week or two, and we're off. I love it. Yeah. Well, stay tuned for our next uh, episode of On the Couch.